Oh, I know. If it's not food, it's not good enough for us. on a call. So if you hear voices, that's why. What are you looking at? <laughs> Do you want to tell me what you're looking at? Where'd you go? <laughs> What's those noises? <laughs> Hi. Hi, cutie pie. I know you're very tall. Yes. Very tall. <laughs> Hi. You don't want to come here? Is Tony too scary? No, he's coming. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Look at you with your little gray eyes. Such a cutie. <laughs> hi. Hi, buddy. You can hear me I'm kind of far from the camera but I don't want to move shit too much because I'm lazy but also because this is not my space this is my parents space this is actually my mom's space in particular this is her office um I enjoy this angle slash composition because it's I feel like it looks a little kooky but in a cute fun way um <laughs> This is her office. It's nice. It smells good. It smells like you'd expect it to. It's like cute, you know, like the rest of the office. <sighs> Max is reading on the porch right now. I didn't tell him I was going to come in here and um, <laughs> record this video. And I just wonder if he's going to notice it anymore. I can see him. That's why I'm mentioning it. Anyway, I'm in California this week and next week, but I'm in California where I grew up this week in uh, Elk Grove, California, my parents' property. Uh, they've got about 10 acres. It's very beautiful, very sprawling, very calming. And I just kind of noticed just this kind of sensation of like relaxation 
that has come over me in the last few days that I've been here. Um, I think one of the complaints I will occasionally have about New York is that I don't have enough access to nature. Um, and it's probably because I grew up on nothing but access to nature. Uh, and this trip has been really zen so far. We've been here for, ooh, math, four days. Um, and we're working our normal job, so I'm still technically on East Coast hours, but I'm sleeping so well. <laughs> it's like my body is like, okay, 9 p.m. or like 9 p.m., like we're really tired, winding down. By 10 p.m. I'm out, by 6 a.m. I'm up, because I'm working East Coast hours. And that doesn't happen for me, usually. Even when I grew up here, that especially didn't happen for me. I'm not a very good sleeper, but my body's just really been on it. It's like, nope, we're getting our eight hours. So I wanted to make a video that kind of honors the peace that I think this property and environment that my parents have created has brought me and tends to bring me when I come home. There's something about being in the presence of my parents, probably for a lot of people, their parents or loved ones or guardians. That's just so common. It's kind of, for me, it's usually like perspective giving. Um, and maybe it's because I don't see them as much. I live across the country, so maybe it kind of wakes you up to reality and it's like oh yeah this is kind of what's important um whereas like when you're in your day-to-day -day and you're just kind of living it and doing it uh everything feels like the most important thing so i guess when i see my parents i'm kind of crash lands me back to oh yeah <laughs> this is what's important i i don't get to see them very much and like i love them and i love talking to them and getting to know them and their new empty nester well not new <laughs> i'm old um getting to know them and their like kind of empty nester lives uh just kind of makes other things feel i shouldn't say that it makes the smaller pettier grievances of like a work day feel way less important <sighs> which is very relaxing I think I'm still learning that language. Just kind of a handful of years post-grad because I went straight into grad school after undergraduate. So I'm still kind of acclimating to a career as my everyday. It's been nice to be here. Okay, I think that's it for now. It's a K because my mom is Kathy.